Is it from the Tooth Fairy? There we go. You excited? Yeah. Put it under your pillow. Alright. How much do you think you're going to get? Um, probably five dollars. Sounds good. If you never have any confidence in yourself, you're never going to succeed. No matter what, one of the most important things you have to have is the belief, an undying belief in yourself that you will get through whatever it is. You'll succeed at all costs. Whatever it is, you'll be successful. You've got to have 100% confidence in your abilities and in your attitude. If you don't have that, you got to figure out a way to get it. You got to dig deep and believe in yourself. Hire a coach, hire a mentor, or do whatever it takes. Take some classes, read up on how to be confident. But I think the biggest thing that stops people from being confident is they get paralyzed from not taking action. You've got to take action. Action breeds confidence. It might be scary, you might fail, and you might lose some confidence, but when you start taking action, you're gonna believe in yourself more that you can actually do certain things. You can actually move the needle. You can actually do what you need to do. So that was a lot of fun tonight. I went to a fourth grade basketball game, a championship basketball game, and it went down to the wire and was decided by two points. And the one team uh, missed a couple shots at the end there, and the other team won. But it was truly neat seeing that. And I was in fourth grade 34 years ago, so it brought back a lot of memories. And I was really impressed by these kids, how, how much confidence they had, um, how much carefree they were playing and and just fearless and you know when I was in fourth grade I didn't have a lot of confidence and had a little bit more fear than most kids but it was just amazing all these kids were playing completely full out I mean they were running diving a bunch of them got hurt a couple times um, and they were just shooting threes like it was nothing and they were, of course were missing the whole backboard you know rim and net and everything but they didn't care I mean they just kept playing full out and they were just going full speed ahead and they were having fun and unfortunately you know one team wins one team loses but i'm wondering maybe if us as adults really need to, to kind of take a page out of the kids book a little bit and play life full out we don't seem to do that and you know a lot of that's confidence issues in ourselves now obviously the way the parents acted and like some of them uh, i think it was a disgrace that's probably a whole nother video series but um, maybe we do need to play life more full out and maybe we just need to let things rip and let things go and see what happens. Maybe there's a lot of fun there.